Yeah, of course, it's a nice position to be in. Um, exciting times. It's been a good week of training. The moves, as usual, as per. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. How much pride would it give you? Because you've obviously had so much success here already, but to cap that off with the treble, what would it mean to you personally? Yeah, of course, it would be amazing. I mean, the more trophies you can win in your career, the better. And the fact I'm still at quite a young age and you know, adding it to my resume, it's, it's a good thing. Um, but first and foremost, I think just for the fans of the club, it's been, you know, after the season before last, it was tough times. And now we've kind of brought the cl club back into a good place. So kind of want to try and do it for them mainly. You talk about bringing the club back into a good place, Matt. When you joined, is this what you envisaged the club could be? Is this what you were sold? Come to Celtic, we can win all of these trophies. Did you picture yourself winning travels here? Yeah, I think I just I knew the expectation was to win when when you come here, you know. So I think that kind of follows up and gets backed up by winning trophies. And when I had the phone call with the manager to come, he kind of prepared me in the sense that you are expected to win every single game, um, which was a new thing for me. Um, but something I've thoroughly enjoyed being part of because it makes you, you know, be even more of a competitor. If you do win at the weekend, how close to a perfect season would you say it's been? Yeah, if you win every trophy, then of course it's probably the perfect season, you know. Um, but we need to do it first, so I'm not going to speak too soon. Can you talk us through the, the build up to this week? Because obviously there's there's so much at stake that the big prize is there on, on offer, and uh, we know that you know training is pretty intensive anyway. But but has has it has there been a kind of slightly different edge to things, different kind of preparations? Mm, no, our preparation is usually the same. We've set very high standards throughout the course of the season. Um, I think you know. Last game in terms of Aberdeen, it was a good response and a good, you know, a performance like like we usually provide. Um, so it's nice to be back in that frame of mind where everyone's, you know, back at it. Um, but in terms of training, we've been the same throughout the whole season. Our approach is always the same. Very relentless in terms of every session is, you know, we demand a lot from each other. So that's kind of the aim every day. How disruptive has all the talk of the, the manager's future been and all the speculation? How hard has it been? To, to block that out because that, that, that's pretty big isn't it when you're preparing for something so major ah, it's not hard to be honest uh, there's always so much noise in football uh, even with players with managers all sorts there's a lot of the stuff in the media all the time I know that's your guys jobs but in terms of like what we see for me personally I don't believe most of the things I see just because I know how football works um, and you know I'm sure he's very happy where he is because we're doing very well as you mentioned the, the manager spoke to you when you first came in about the expectation and the, the winning trophies what has he done for you and where does he sit in terms of the managers that you've worked under how good is he no he's a very good manager i think that's proven by the football we play and the results that we've provided i've had well, I'm, I'm young so i've only had two managers three properly before him um all very different styles i think it's it's good to you know kind of develop yourself as a player in terms of different style managers because you never know what the future holds in terms of what style of manager you're going to have. Maybe one's a bit more tough, one's keeps his distance a bit more like like the gaffer here. Um, but as long as it works, and I don't think it's a problem. Uh, he's taught me a lot in the sense of the tactical side, which he delegates stuff to the staff very well. Um, so I've learned loads since I've been here. Um, and I think just his relentlessness to continue to improve all of us as players is probably his best asset. I know it's a pretty obvious statement, but can you understand it, the apprehension maybe of some supporters when they do read stuff like that? Of course, yeah. No, of course. Uh, he's obviously provided so much success to the club and hopefully that continues. Um, and naturally fans are attached to someone who brings so much success to the club. I think same goes for the players in the group right now. I'm sure everyone's, you know, everyone's had good seasons for the most part. So naturally there's going to be interest in players, but hopefully we can just keep as many together and kind of push on even more next season. Is that something you had to get used to quickly when you joined Celtic, the, the speculation you've had about yourself as mm -hmm. well? Is that something you just have to deal with, learn to deal with? Definitely, it? yeah. I think it's just part of part of football. Um, yeah, like I said, media-wise, there's always something going on and I'm sure there'll always be the odd surprise that gets thrown in. Someone leaves that you don't expect, someone joins that comes out of nowhere and you kind of just have to be ready for whatever comes. There's been a lot of talk about focus throughout the time that I've just been here, you've been here, that you seem to be able to, to shut off other things and, and you know, the, the run you were on in the league earlier on in the season as well as you showed that. How, how, did, how does that work on a day-to-day -day basis that you managed to keep that focused? Yeah, I think it comes from 
first of all, the hierarchy, like the manager and the staff kind of setting the foundation of, you know, what can we do today to improve and kind of taking it day by day. If you think too much about the future or about stuff that's happened before, then that's when probably problems start to occur because you're probably in your head a bit too much. But, you know, as long as we're kind of focused on the day-to-day -day basics of trying to improve one another, then I don't think it should be a problem. Matt, where were the domestic treble like in terms of your career achievements if you have to pull that off this weekend? I haven't been playing that long, so it'd be probably the best, wouldn't it? Um, no, I, I can only speak for the feeling that I'm going to have if we, you know, if we win it. Um, I haven't had this experience before. I've had two trophies this season. That's one more than I. Is it one more than one? Yeah, one more than I won last season. So I've already improved on that, which is great. Um, adding one more would be the cherry on top. But it'd be so great to have so many fans as well because. And when I expand a lot of tickets back, you'll have an even fuller hand than what you're used to. I didn't even know that, but yeah, that'll be that'll be great. I mean, every little helps, doesn't it, in terms of fans? And we know that because we play in front of sixty thousand every home game, and you know, the noise definitely does help.